Hi, in this video, we will understand what is the meaning of tags over here. Because tags are very important in Cucumber. In tags, you can actually organize your scenarios according to the types of testing you want to perform. For example, let's say I have few scenarios which I want to implement at smoke testing. Some scenarios are there which I want to implement at the time of regression testing. So I cannot get into my feature file and search for that and then execute. It's going to be very clumsy process for me because this is just one feature file. I can easily find it out and work accordingly, but there could be many scenarios in one particular feature file. And it's quite difficult for me to find out that which particular scenario is for smoke, which is for production, which is for regression testing, which particular scenarios are important. So all that stuff I can do with the help of tags. Tag can be applied at the feature level or as well as at the scenario or scenario outline level. If you are applying tag at feature level, it will be applicable to all the scenarios beneath it. Let's say if I have multiple scenarios beneath it, whatever tag I have written on top will be applied to it. Let's say checking functionality of login form. This is one of the most important functionality. So what I'm gonna do is I'll tag it as smoke. So next time, let's say we are, uh, you know, release is very much near and we have to test everything. We know that we will be performing smoke testing. I will simply go and I write down that whatever test cases are there in my feature file, whatever scenarios or test cases are there with the tag smoke, please execute that instead of executing everything. So this is the benefit of using tags. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go to this feature file. So. Let me just copy paste this scenario. So control C, control V. I'm just changing a little bit in it. So let's say checking functionality of sign up form. I'm just making one example guys to let you know. And uh, let's say I'm not using this URL. And now I'll give it as tag. So for this scenario, I'm tagging as at the rate smoke, and this is at the rate regression. And this is because it will be implemented at the rate tag will be implemented throughout. So I'm just gonna remove this. I'll go to my runner class now. So guys, best thing is in your runner class, you have option of setting up the tags. So here, first of all, I'll give location of my feature file. So you can give location of your feature file too, if you want to be specific about that. I'll go to properties, copy this, control C, cancel, and control D. All right, and here you can give tag. In Cucumber option, you can provide option of tags. So I'm writing tags is equal to, so first I want to execute only those test cases whose tag is smoke. So I'm writing at the rate smoke. Now you can execute this. So I'm executing test runner, run as G unit test. So look at this, only this scenario got executed. Checking functionality of login form, remember me feature, given as this, user must click on this. Only this particular functionality, only this particular scenario got executed, look at this. In login, remember me checkbox, this particular scenario got executed because I want to execute only those whose tag is smoke. Let's say, let me just close it. Let's say I do have one more scenario in login. And now I want to run only regression one. So you can read this for sign up. So I want to execute now only for regression. Again, I'll go to test runner. Instead of smoke, I'll change it to regression. And run this. Click on OK. So see? This feature got executed. So guys, because I don't have any step definition for that, that's why it's just giving me option of adding this 
but anyhow we wanted to see that which scenario will get executed so in this case only this scenario will get executed it's not executing smoke testing or all the scenarios just this particular scenario so this is how you can tag that which particular scenario or type of test case which tag in simple words which tag you want to execute and you can specify it in test runner class now there is one more option so this tagging is called single tags only single tag you are specifying let's say this particular scenario over here is participant of both regression as well as smoke testing so i can tag it as at the rate smoke as well as at the rate regression now i want to execute all the test cases all the scenarios which are participant of both smoke and regression so that simple words i want to execute multiple tags i want to execute that test case who are part of multiple tags how i can do that let's see i'll go to my test runner and here you can simply write and at the rate smoke and means those tags will be executed those scenarios will be executed on which both of them are specified if even a single of them is specified it won't get executed so if i show you my remember me this is just regression but this is the only scenario which has both of them so now if i'll execute my test runner it should not execute this one because this is just regression but i'm saying at the rate smoke and at the rate regression so whichever scenario or features will have both of them only those will get executed so let's see so i'm going to run it now run as j unit test and see only this one got executed not the other one not that one which has just regression testing on it but now i'll show you how we use or operator here so instead of and if i use or then any scenario whose tag is regression any scenario or feature whose tag is regression or it is smoke both of them will get executed it's like either this or this if both of them are there that also will get executed if even single tag is there on top of scenario or feature that also will get executed so i'll say run as j unit test okay and see my both scenario got executed here this is with both smoke and regression this is just with regression so this is how you can use tags again if you are using any tag on top of your feature let's say here on top of my feature i'm saying at the rate important this is my tag and i'll execute my test runner see what will happen see here it's going to show me at the rate important smoke and regression but if you remember in my scenario number 1 i've just written smoke and regression from where this important is coming because important tag is of the parent that is feature so child will inherit all the scenarios will inherit what feature have so if feature have tag as important it will be inherited by all the child scenarios so this is how you can use multiple or single tags let's say you want to be very much particular and write down that i don't want to use this tag so you can simply write and not smoke so it should be regression but not smoke so let's execute this run as j unit test and see it just executed regression yes important is tag for the feature that's why it is accompanied with that but regression not the smoke one so this is how you can skip execution of a particular tag also by writing not in front of it
So you can skip, you can ignore test cases, you can execute multiple test cases together with the tags. You can even select the scenarios from the feature file, which have particular tags. So in this case, your time is saved. And now the code is organized in such a way that it's not going to be difficult for you at the end to find out which test case belongs to, which scenario belongs to, which particular tag or type of testing, whether it is part of smoke, regression, or production or anything important. So guys, tags is one of the most important topic from interview point of view, as well as when we work in Cucumber or BDD framework. That's all for this video. Thanks for now.